Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. I'm Inferno Paternal. How are you guys doing today? And in today's video, as you guys can see in the title, I'm giving you yet again, as suggested by you guys, another Virtual Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown guide. And in today's guide, I will be showing you how to properly play Jackie Bryant. Now going into a little bit of the playstyle of Jackie Bryant. Now I believe there's going to be two things that you're mainly going to try and accomplish with this character and that's going to be trying to whiff punish and counter your opponents with this stance right here. You can use this stance to your advantage to see if your opponent whiffs a move or just catch them off guard with that. And not only that, but you are also going to be trying to catch your opponent off guard with your combined strings. That is a main component of Jackie Bryant's playstyle. As we can see with the punch punch, you can actually add another string to it, which is forward punch punch punch. And you can use these combined strings to your advantage by basically making your opponent so confused to not know when to stop blocking. You can actually utilize this because if they think they have to keep one blocking after the first two hits, you can go up and grab them and punish them for blocking. It's basically a big mind game and many staggers are involved. Alright guys, quickly before the video starts, I just want to say that if you do not know the annotation system that I use for my combos and moves, here it is on the screen right now. It is the basic, like, anime fighting style of uh, annotations. It's the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It just makes it a lot easier for me to uh, show you guys the specific direction of the move that I'm trying to show. So it's just, it's absolutely great. And I'm going to be using it mostly for my combos and a little bit of my basic moves. I also want to say that if you guys want to skip to a specific part in the video such as the throws, the combos, the stances, or the basic moves. I will have timestamps down in the YouTube video and in the description if you guys want to go and skip to that. I want you guys to go directly to the part that you came here for. I don't want you to have to watch the whole video. But um, anyways, thanks for watching and let's get into it. Alright guys, so uh, the mailman just came up to my door and told me that 90% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. And I just want to say, you should definitely slap that subscribe button. That would help me out a ton. You know what I'm saying? Donate to the uh, Inferno Squad. Alright guys, now getting into the basic moves of Jackie Bryan. And before I actually get into the basic moves, I want to show you guys something about Jackie Bryan. And that is his reversal. He has a pack sal, I believe that's how you call it, to where he actually counters high punches in neutral he counters his high punches in neutral and i'm gonna show you guys right here what it looks like all right guys as you can see look at that this is the double high okay and he just counters it without even moving jackie counters it without even moving his neutral is just insane now that you know that little factor about Jackie, we can play lots of mind games with him by using lots of highs, because usually, when you use a high against a scrubby or a lower to intermediate player, they're going to try and use a high as well. And lots of people use highs in this game just to throw something out and to confuse their opponent. Well, guess what? Jackie can actually deflect a high punch in his neutral. Alright guys, now getting into the moves, I want to start off with the very first string that I think is just the bread and butter of all of his basic moves, and that is the punch punch, alright? The double high, and he can actually make it a triple high for a very nice knockdown. And uh, something that I like to use with the triple punch is if I know they're going to try and counter me for the highs, then I'll maybe get some distance from my opponent and try and land the third hit as the only hit that lands. Because they may not, they may think that the string ends early, like right there. But if you can time it perfectly to where the third hit lands, then you can actually punish them and get a little jump attack or down attack in uh, while they're on the ground and get some extra damage. One thing I want to note about the punch, punch, punch combo is that you can actually wait a second before landing the third one. And that's a good little fake out for your opponent right here, as we can see here. Boom. See how I waited a second? Boom. And it's still a knockdown. So if they don't block that... You basically just get a free knockdown and just a jump attack. So a free basic like 42 damage basically. It's now going into the mind games of Jackie Bryan. Already, already we're going into the mind games. And as you guys can see on the screen right here. After punch punch, which is a part of that jab double straight combo I just showed you guys. You can do the movement of six or forward after the first two punches and do punch punch. Or you can even do a sidestep, or you can do a triple punch after. And there's many other strings that we can add to the punch punch, and I'm going to display them right here. Now, starting off with just the simple punch punch after it. There you go. 
just a simple punch punch forward punch punch you know and the thing that's good about these strings is that if your opponent is very mashy and is very impatient when it comes to blocking they're going to try and stop blocking a lot but you have to tell them that nabi this is my string and you can actually punish them for trying to be impatient and it's just a great mind game with jackie and that is the bread and butter of his playstyle, i believe now getting into the kind of mix-ups when it comes to these strings, or just, just a little bit, you know, just a little bit of a mix. You can actually do punch punch into the forward punch punch down uh, kick, which actually ends it off with a low. Or the uh, directional inputs for that would be punch punch six, punch punch two kick. There you go, that's what that looked like right there. It's just kind of a good little low to throw out if your opponent is going to try and constantly block upward. Or even if they try and duck it, that low is going to kind of catch them for trying to duck it. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how punishable these strings actually are. So you have to be very careful with the starting two highs because if they read that the first string is a double high, they can actually duck the first two hits and punish you for the second string. And I'm going to show you guys what that looks like right here. There you go right there. As you can see, I ducked the first two hits. And before he could actually land the uh, last hit, I was able to actually counter him. Alright, not only can you punish your opponent by uh, coming out of the duck, but you can actually just stay in duck. And just, just low punch. Just low punch because the first two are high. It doesn't even matter if he tries to do the second string. You can just punish him and just absolutely block it all, basically. Now, the next string that I want to talk about is actually a combo that you can do after the punch punch six punch punch, all right? And as you can see right here, you can actually do a little stance or go into a slide shuffle after the move. And I'm going to show you what it looks like right here. There you go. That's what it looks like right there. You can actually get a little sidestep in after hitting the uh, forward punch punch or the six punch punch. And what you could do with this sidestep is while in this sidestep, you can actually hit your opponent for some very good damage. And it's actually a mid. You can start off with just the six punch punch. But just remember, no matter what you started off with, after the six punch punch, you have to either do a directional input of uh, eight or two or down or up. And then the punch plus kick plus guard afterwards to do the shuffle. And right when you're in the side shuffle, as you can see right here, you can get a punch punch after it. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it looks like with just the shuffle. As you can see, you can just kind of shuffle in whatever directional input you want to go. If you spam punch, you actually get a pretty nice combo in. It's a mid into an EX high and it does 43 damage. And I don't know about you guys, but that's some pretty good damage, especially for a sidestep counter. That's what it looks like right there. Now, that's what the whole thing looks like together. And, of course, it's not a guaranteed string because when you combine these strings together, they're definitely not guaranteed, but they're just a great way to confuse your opponent because if they can't catch those two highs at the beginning, it's most likely your string because that mid as the third hit is most likely going to catch them, my boys. But just remember to be careful with the high moves because a lot of these mix-ups and strings start off with the two highs. So be very, very careful and try and mix it up with a lot of mids. And then we've got some super long combos such as kick, punch, 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 and then kick, punch, 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 kick. Here's what these look like. Gosh. Absolutely great, man. It's just such a good string. It's very long, so if your opponent doesn't know when the highs are, then they're basically just going to have to block the whole thing. I mean, there is a lot of highs, so be very careful with that, though. Another cool little move that I want to talk about is going to be the 7 kick, which is like this. And it's kind of like the same move that I was talking about with Kage Maru. It's absolutely great for punishing your opponent. I mean, just be very careful with your distancing. But I also would say that at the start of the round, if your opponent, like at the very start where you're at the neutral, if your opponent tries to start off with like a double punch, you can just kind of do this, which is the seven kick to kind of counter them right there. And I mean, look how much damage it does. It does 50 damage. And although it is very punishable, and if you miss this, then you're definitely going to get punished hard for it. I'd say time it perfectly and get your range down and spacing with it, and you got it, man. That's a very good whiff punish right there. Another really good whiff punisher is going to be your 6-6 uh, six, six kick or the dash into kick. Now, this is a way better and more safe version of uh, whiff punishing. Although it is unsafe, it is just a lot better and quicker to throw out than uh, per se the 7 kick that I just showed you. But here's what it looks like. And it knocks him down so you can get a cool looking down attack right after that. I mean, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Who, wa who doesn't want a guaranteed 47 damage, man? So, I mean, if you're too scared or you don't know how to properly range the 7 attack, then I would say just stick with 
this for whiff punishing and at least just try and hit the seven kick for the start of the round. So something random that I want to note is that uh, with the forward kick plus guard, you can actually just get a absolute sick combo just by spamming it. Just by spamming it. Look, 68 damage just from spamming it. Let me show you again if you didn't see it. Look, four hits, 68 damage just for that simple combo, man. But obviously there's some way better combos I'm going to show you later. That's just something I wanted to mention as a bonus. This combo, this combo is absolutely great. It is probably my favorite string out of the normal moves. And that is the four kick, 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 kick. Four kicks after the four. Bop! I mean, don't you, you guys hear that sound? That little slap? Bop! That slap is absolutely amazing. And this is the type of string that I really don't think your opponent's going to be able to counter. Because, I mean, look at this, dude. It starts off with a mid, and there's a high after, this, after the first mid, and there's a high as the last hit. But, I mean, guys, there's two mids in there, and your opponent is going to have a lot of trouble trying to counter the highs in there. So, I'd say this is an absolutely amazing move to throw out, and it does some great damage. And you can even get a good little down attack after for 59 damage. Great for whiff punishing, great range, great distance, absolutely great string. So another good combo starter or a great punisher if you don't want to uh, start off with a high would be the three kick. As you can see right here, it looks absolutely fantastic. Super fast little kick there and you can actually extend it into a couple of strings. And not only is it just a overall great string to do, especially with punch right after it. It's just absolutely great for punishing your opponent, especially if they think you're going to start off with a high. But it's also great to get into that side slide shuffle that I was talking about earlier. And here's what that looks like, my boys. You'll definitely remember it. Remember that? Remember that little shuffle that I showed you guys earlier? You can get into that. So that's a great little sidestep punish. Or we can get even more saucy with it and add a low to it with the uh, three kick punch into two kick kick. Here's what this one looks like. Look at that. So saucy, man. So saucy with the low, bro. So clean with it, man. All the mixes. Another great combo to throw out is going to be the punch plus kick and then kick right after that it starts off with a fantastic mid that rocks your opponent and it's some great damage right there look at that look at that 45 damage and another move that is good for punishing your opponent is going to be the four into the kick plus guard and here's what that looks like it's basically back into kick plus guard but it just looks absolutely fantastic it's got some great range with it because he has a very long leg a great long leg attack and it is great for punishing if your opponent whiffs once again, another long string that your opponent is not going to know when to stop blocking is going to be these strings right here, okay? And it all starts off with the two kick plus guard, all right? And here's what this one looks like. It's two kick plus guard. This is what it starts off with, an EX middle, okay? And the great thing about this is you can add as many kicks as you want to this string. So if you want to end the string at two kicks, you can. If you want to end the string at three kicks, you can. If you want to go full and do the full string of four kicks after you can. And that is great for mind games because you're, if your opponent thinks you're gonna do the full string, they're gonna be waiting to block the final hit. And if you stop it at three, you can actually punish them for that. Or, or you can even get a grab in if they're still blocking. So I mean, if they think you're gonna stop at three, you can kind of dash in and get a grab to kind of punish them there. If you know what I'm saying, you can just start some great mind games with that. And the last thing I'm going to be talking about in the normal move section is going to be the punch plus kick plus guard. And that is the switch step, all right? And as you can see right here, that's what it looks like. Your boy's switching steps. But the cool thing about this is while he's switching steps, he can actually do some sick stuff, okay? He can do a punch and a kick after. Here's what the punch looks like after. Bop! A very nice middle that you can most likely get a down attack after. Let me try and do that for you. Bop, there you go. Get a nice little down attack after that if your opponent doesn't roll. So it's not a guaranteed down attack afterwards, but you can get that if you punish him right. Here's what the kick looks like afterwards. Bop. Bop. Oh, and it turns them around. Oh, so it turns them around. That's good. You can get a back grab after that if possible, and that is some extra damage than you would get with a normal grab. Right, now going into the combos of the video okay and uh quickly before i show off the uh, combos that i have i want to talk about some moves that i think are really important when it comes to combos with this character all right 
And now the first one that I want to talk about is going to be the nine kick, all right? And here's what that looks like. Nine kick is an absolutely incredible move that is great for including to your combos. I'm gonna show you guys right here what it looks like just including it with one of your combos right here i mean you could basically add it to any combo you want and it just gets the damage up it is a great connector with the beginning of your combo and the end of the combo and i think it's just a staple for his combos another move that i want to talk about about his combos is going to be the seven kick which is a great combo ender as you can see it does 50 damage but it's very hard to land while in the combos so I suggest using a two punch or the uh, EX low punch and then going straight into it like this. Here's what it looks like. There you go. As you can see, it kind of lifted them up for you to be able to add it. So that is a great combo ender right there. boys now going into the stance part of the video and this is the stance of the slide shuffle and this is the stance that i was talking about in the beginning about his play style where you can counter your opponent properly and with punish them with this and the input for it is four punch plus kick plus g and here's what it looks like right here that's what it looks like when you get in it and from here you can do many options such as punch such as kick such as down kick such as down kick into back and here's what the punch looks like a very fast high where he basically slaps his opponent so if your opponent is trying to come at you when in the stance you could slap him real quick slap him into uh into reality here's what the kick looks like bop a very good range and powerful middle great for punishing your opponent there you can also get a low by doing down kick or two kick after the stance and you can actually add another kick afterwards you know what i'm saying or you can just end it afterwards like that if they think they're, if they think you're gonna uh do the second kick and you can just kind of grab them there i mean i'm just trying to show you guys the mind games that you can really do with jackie bryant there's just so many mind games and staggers man also another good combo that you can do afterwards is going to be the punch plus kick and then punch afterwards here's what it looks like bop it's a double mid and just absolutely rocks your opponent it looks sick it looks sick dude especially with the uppercut afterwards and after that you can get a cool little jump attack in for 57 damage now here is where some more mind games come in if your opponent thinks you're gonna do a high move after the shuffle you can actually punish them for that or if they use a high move you can actually duck it with the 3-3 three, three after the stance and here's what the ducking looks like there you go. As you can see, he just kind of ducked. So if your opponent was going to use a high after the stance, you would have ducked under it. And if you do a move after the duck, you can punish them for the high. Here's what the punch looks like after the uh, duck. There you go. It's a strong middle that you can use properly for punishing a high. Here's what the kick looks like. Bop. And once again, another middle. Great for punishing. Bop. 
cool thing about the kick is you can actually do a grab during it. And here's what that looks like. Bop! Look at that. If you add the grab to it, it adds an extension to the kick and gives you 65 damage. I would be trying to hit that as much as I can in the match, guys, because that is a very good string. And another dope thing that you could do after the stance is you can actually do kick plus guard after the ducking or the 3-3. Uh, three, three. And here's what this looks like. Bah! It's a very powerful move that launches your opponent if it lands, but it is a high, so be very careful of that. It is punishable. And those are the very sick moves that you can do from the stances, but it's not over there. There is many strings that you can do to actually get into the stance, and I'm going to show you guys those right now. First one I'm going to be talking about is the punch punch kick into four, all right? And what that is is after the punch punch kick, you go into a little back dash and you get into the stance we were just talking about. Here's what it looks like. Boom, and then boom, you can do whatever move you want afterwards, guys. If you're using the D-pad like me, this character is going to be very hard for you, especially with the stances and the ducks. So I would actually recommend using the joystick or just a fight stick, because a fight stick would be absolutely great for this character. There you go. As you can see, after the punch punch kick, going into the stance, while moving into the stance, I faked it out and ended it with a kick, a high kick. Now, give or take, the high is punishable. It is a great way to uh, kind of confuse your opponent because if they're going to try and punish me for getting into the stance, I canceled it into the kick. Another way to get into it is with the six punch punch kick by adding the four after the last kick. Here's what it looks like. There you go. We get into that little stance there. Looks sick. He's getting pumped up. Another way to get into it is with the uh, diagonal or three punch punch into four after the second punch. Here's what this looks like. There you go. Just got into it. He's getting pumped up once again. Or you can just straight up do one punch into a uh, back afterwards and you're into that. So one punch is a good, good little low you could do. And after that, you could just do four after that and you're into the stance once again. And then there's also three kick punch kick. And after the three kick, kick punch kick, you can go into four to start the stance once again. There's so many strings you can do to get back into the stance. It's absolutely insane. And if you memorize how to get into the stance through all these strings, they're not going to know when to predict you're going to get into the stance because there's going to be so many strings that they have to memorize as well. <laughs> Alright guys, now quickly going into the throw section of the video, and like a lot of characters in Virtua Fighter 5, he has a grab for basically every situation possible. If, if uh, your opponent is behind you, if your opponent is in front of you but is turning the other way, there is a special grab for that. If you're on your opponent's left, there's a special grab for that. If you're on your opponent's right, there's a special grab for that. So just remember, if you're in a different spot from your opponent, like let's say if their position changes relative to you, I would say just go for a grab to see if it does extra damage than a normal one would. Now here is what the six grab looks like, or the six in the punch plus guard. is a special forward grab. Kicks him in the face, pretty crazy, 45 damage. Now let's just remember that the default damage for the grab is 40, so anything better than 40 is better than the default grab. Alright, here's what the uh, 6 into 4 grab looks like. Bop! 60 damage. That is a hefty amount of damage, dude. Just kind of kicks him and throws him over there. Looks absolutely sick. Here is the 4 grab. Bop, bop, bop! Punches him just straight up. Punches him 3 times and throws him to the ground. Looks sick. But here is the 4 into 6 grab. This one's probably my favorite. Oh my gosh, if you're near a wall, he knees him into a wall. Sick. And here's what the dash grab looks like when the wall is behind your opponent. Oh my gosh, jumps off the wall, does some WWE stuff for 70 damage. And you guys basically get the point. It is, there's basically a throw for every single situation possible, almost. And just remember your positioning with your opponent, all right? Just remember that, and you'll be all good with the grabs there. And also, quickly before I end off the video, I just want to say, always remember if what's a high or not, and always remember to get into that stance whenever you can to confuse your opponent and punish them. And all right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you all liked it. And if you did, leave a like, share with your friends. And also, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, feel free to subscribe because that would help me out a ton. And yeah, I hope you all having a fantastic day. Don't let anybody break your stride. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.